Hello and welcome to Text Blue's quick guide on how to create campaigns. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change your Bluetooth name. So once you've created your campaign and you've started to broadcast, devices that have been found will receive a message that says something like, would you like to accept a message from Text Blue, for example, and then they click yes or no. So this is the name that we need to change. So if you go into Tools, settings, Bluetooth name, enter the name in the box provided and then click OK. You can create a campaign from either clicking on the cam campaign tab at the top of the page. Alternatively, you can click one of the icons here. I'm going to click one of the icons. In my campaign name, I'm going to put the name that I wish my campaign to be called. The campaign name is for my benefit only. This does not get broadcast out with my campaign. Enabled means that my campaign is enabled, which means once I've created it and I start it, it will start to be broadcast. If I wanted to create a campaign for a later date, then I would unclick that and then when I'm ready to start broadcasting it, I return and click in the little box there. So now I want to upload my file that I want to broadcast. There you go. And then the scheduling time. We have three options here. The first one is continuously. The next one is date and time. So I can have a start date and an end date with a start time and an end time. Or I can have days of the week. So just click on the days that you would like it. If you want it, your campaign to be broadcast every Friday, then just click on the Friday. And you also have the option for the start and the end time. I want mine to be continuously, so I'm changing it back to that, clicking OK. As you can see here, the campaign I've just created has been uploaded to the top of the screen. So you just need to make sure it's highlighted. Now I'm going to press the Start button. If you can see here, my dongle is licensed and it's now searching for devices. Any devices that are found will appear here under Name. and it's found a 6500 see there it says found and now it's sending the campaign that is called test I've accepted the message and it's changed to success as it's the only device I have with me at the moment I'm going to stop it however if you we're broadcasting onto a busy street, you just continually let it broadcast out and it would find more and more devices. Now I'm going to show you how to create a V card, which is a business card. So if you click on the icon and you enter your campaign name, if you've got a campaign already stored, this name needs to be different. And then once again, you have the choice to enable it. And then you enter the details as follows. And then any message you want sending goes here. Once again, you're given the option for scheduling. We're going to leave ours as continuous and click OK. So now you can see that the original campaign that I created has been highlighted. You just highlight the campaign that you would like to start broadcasting and click Start. It's searching for devices again. And again, devices that it finds will appear here. Once again, it's found the Nokia 6500. It's saying it's already processed because that's the previous campaign that I sent out. So it'll find it again and then it'll broadcast a message on my V-card. and it's sending the message. I've accepted it and it's changed to success. Okay. So I'm going to stop that one again. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create a promotion based campaign. So you put your campaign name in again. Once again you have the choice to enable it or not. Your message goes here 
and as you can see it's also appeared on the left hand side of the screen you can change the text you can move it around the screen and you also have the facility to change the font different font different font style and the size and underneath here it says coupon code if you were having a promotion and with a discount for buy one get one free and they have to the recipient needs to provide a coupon code the system will automatically provide them with the code if you don't want to send a coupon code you just in it unclick it there okay and then once again you have the option to schedule it I want mine as continuous so I'm just going to click OK highlight my campaign and click start again once again the dongle is searching for devices and it'll find the Nokia 6500 that it's previously found So it's found the Nokia 6500 and it said it was already processed because of the previous campaign. and it's found the Nokia 6500 I've accepted the message and it's been changed to success so I'll just stop that one now so as you can see that's quite simple and easy to use if you'd prefer to go through the campaign wizard you just click on the campaign wizard icon and you follow the instructions the campaign name You have the choice for enabling it. Then here you have the choice for continuous, date and time, days of the week. There you can upload or choose the message you'd like to send and so forth. So it's very, very similar, just all in one place. So now I've got three campaigns stored within my software. But I would like to delete them, so you just click on campaigns and delete just make sure that the one you want to delete is the one that is highlighted so you just do it like that or I can close the application down and come back to the later date I hope that this quick guide has been informative and you enjoy using our software if you have any inquiries please do not hesitate to send us an email to inquiries at textblue.co.uk thank you for your time goodbye